Good evening everyone. Welcome to Grown Clip Bonsai for Seniors. Today we're going to try to do three three items. I want to show you what I'm doing, but today is Sunday, June 26th of 2022. It's 77 degrees, 25 degrees Celsius. We're going to do it. I got the seeds planted for an African African giant cracker jack marigold that grows one to one to four foot tall. And it's from uh Stony Soil Seed Company. Dot com and these are heirloom seeds and this is the the name of it but according to the description it grows one to four feet tall so I got about five seeds planted in a bonsai pot outside and then I took and I planted the seeds in some peat pots I put three in each peat pot so if uh, get our gnome over there We'll see what happens, how they grow, and I'll take the strongest of the three. So that I got going. And then I got the Saracenia Judith Hindle that I got from New Magnolia Garden Center out at uh, Ridge Mall. So let's take that out so you can see it. And there it is. This is the name of it so you can see. There we go. Now what I'm going to do is, I know some. this is good for if you got a, a, a bonsai display, something different. It can help catch the, uh, the bugs going by your bonsai trees. But all I did was take a pot and there's the uh, lava rock in there. There's the hole that I drilled in there. And I got the screen on top. It's a, it's a mesh. You can get that at uh, Hobby Lobby. And I got that so the water's in there, whatever uh, bacteria is in there will go on the uh, lava rock and it'll pre prevent it from going anaerobic and to keep it aerobic bacteria. And it's, and you know, if you don't have, I got this as an old, uh, from an old tank for the, uh, it's called an gravel filter. So I just took the tubing and I cut that and I'm going to stick it on the side. And what I'm using is a 50-50 mix of peat and perlites because that's the easiest for me to do. Now remember, you got to use either distilled water or water that you, uh, let's put this over here, or water that you, a little heavy here, or water that you let age, or I put fish water in there. But distilled water is good or rain water, but try not to use faucet water because it'll die. So Tom, what'd you do with your cups? Here they are. So there's our mix. So all I'm gonna do is hold that in. And the reason why I got the tube in there is so you can add water to the bottom. And whatever ex excess water is in there, it'll flow right out. So all you do is push that in real good. All the way into the plenum, to the screen there. Just like that. Now, what did I forget? For that hole, so it doesn't plug up, I got a nice little plastic screen. So once I got the soil in, I'm going to put the screen right next to it. So, and then take some soil and push it right into this screen to hold it in. So you can see the screen in there. And I just fill it up. Just like that. And push it in. And here's my distilled water. I'm just going to get the soil a little bit more moist. See a little pot and you can have your own little bog garden. And just fill it. Just like that. Your tube is in there. So it'll help you to fill it. Just like that. I'm going to have to buy some more live sphagnum moss for it. 
because I I got it in the other ball garden, which is still doing good. So that's all we're doing. Just like that. Take our distilled water. Get our soil nice and wet. Get it in. And then all we're going to do is make a hole. Just push it on the side like that. Boy, you can't see nothing. Boy, Tom, you're bad. There we go. Now you can see it. You're looking at my back. There. So all I'm doing is pushing and making a hole like that so we can get our Saracenia in there. And just take it out. Man, does this stink. But what are you going to do? Tom, where are you going to put that? There you go. And all I'm going to do is just take a lot of that old soil off like that. I'm doing it over the bucket, otherwise it'll be all wet. But you can see the nice root system it has. And we're just going to stick it into the hole. Because they do like an acid-based soil. And just put that in. I had this in the outside. There we go. Just like that. And we're just sticking it into the side there. I can use this to get it between the cup and the uh, just like that so you can see it. I gotta learn how to do the camera work so I don't let you guys be looking at my back. So just like that, get pushed in. And what a way to catch bugs for your bonsai trees outside. And look how nice it looks. Now this is not an outdoor plant for the winter time. I have to bring that in because otherwise it'll die with the cold and then you just Pour it in like that. But let me get the soil good and wet. And once I get some more lice phagna moss, see, it's starting to run out of the hole. Just like that. Press it in. And there you go. Later on, I'll, I'll order the moss and I'll put it in there. Right now with the heat, I don't want to do it, but today, tonight we got a nice cool breeze out there. I can't believe how nice it is. Let me get my spoon, wipe all the junk off. Remember, don't fertilize the plants because the plants get their fertilizer from bugs. They eat the bugs, that gives them their nutrients. You put fertilizer in here, they'll, it'll kill it. Just like that. And these pots are cheap. You can get these at Menards. They're only, I think they were $1.99 or $2.99. I forget. It was real cheap. There. Just like that. Okay, so that's two down. Let me put this on the side because it's still dripping. Just like that. My bottle there. Got the man top. I'm really got to clean this place up. Okay, so my uh, daughter-in-law made me some stickers for the uh, pot, and then I just took this acrylic high gloss and sprayed the pot so the stickers stay on. But these stickers lasted through the winter without the gloss, so that's pretty good. I don't know if you can see it, but let's take the water off of here. And now we're going to do a fuchsia. Ugh. It's called firecracker. It's an upright. And the uprights are better for making a bonsai because the other ones are, they like, uh, they're like for hanging baskets more. But you can see, well, let me take it out. Let's 
got a nice root system. Real nice root system. We're going to work on it. But before I do that, I'm going to take my ironwood long nose and snip this long one. But you can see the, the, the way the flower looks. And I'm going to take the flowers off, cut it back about here. And you know this that I still have the willows in the water. And what this does is soaking, they'll help. It's it'll uh, the willows when you soak them, they give off like their own rooting hormone. So okay, while we got this up, I'm gonna cut this back to here, take all the flowers off. I know it's bad, but what are you gonna do? I mean, it's gotta grow. So I'm clipping it right above the node here so it grows up. And I don't know if this little one will root. I took uh, cuttings off the other one I had because I got two of them and I put them in a bonsai pot and hopefully they'll root. So now we'll just take and try to get all the soil off the best we can. So if you can't afford all these fancy trees and you can't afford to have a bonsai outside, well, you can put this on your balcony because it's just a... Uh, a nice little plant to work with. So we're just going to take our chopstick and get all the soil off the best we can. Just like that. Now, see all this is done is all in peat. I got this all in peat, straight peat moss. I'm going to take this off because you got the roots wrapping around there. So what I'm going to do is take my bucket and fill it with some water so we can get most of that stuff off. The soil off the roots. Get that all off. Shake it in there. Let's see how much we can get off of it. Because then this you can put into the window of your home and you can develop a nice little bonsai tree out of it. Now those those marigolds, those African marigolds, I'm going to try to make a bonsai tree out of them and see how they're good because if they grow four foot they should develop a woody stem. But I don't know what our summers, if I'll be able to do it, but you can see the root system on this thing. Nice root system. But right now, this thing is in one of them uh, peat balls with the string on it. I mean, with the webbing on it. So I'm trying to unwrap that the best I can because this does have almost like a. Let me see these roots so you can see what I'm doing here. Okay, there's our roots. Now this is a long fibrous root. We're going to cut that. It doesn't look like they're wrapping around each other. So Tom, go get your root scissors right here. Always use a separate pair for roots and we're going to just cut this one big one back. And I'm going to cover this so I don't get it into our good potting soil. I'm going to cut this one back this one try to get the downward roots out so we can try to develop some radial roots on this but don't be afraid to try a fuchsia but get an upright one unless you want to try to do a trailing one but this one has more of a I don't know of a woody woody trunk so now we don't need a bottom uh, screen for the bottom because it's got the holes in there already I think this will look nice in there. I know it's got some of the leaves that are a little pukey looking, but we're going to cut them off. So we're going to try to make a nice little canopy on the top. We'll cut this lead off here and this one off here. And then I'll put it in the shade. 
Let me get the stems off the bottom here, just like that. Might have two trunks here. We'll see how that grows or how it goes. Let me get my tag for my Saracenia and put that in. So if you got bugs, get yourself some carnivorous plants. They're not hard to do, and your kids will love doing it with you. And bring out it'll bring out the kid and you yourself. So we'll put some of our same mix 50-50 peat and perlite. That's all we're using right now. And then I still cleaning down here, so I couldn't find what I did with my Mikus, but I got my Azus. I'm gonna put all all that on the bottom of the roots. Now it doesn't burn the plant because it's just beneficial bacteria. So you don't have to worry about doing it. And then they sell these bottles if you can't find the ketchup bottles. They got them at Walmart. I think they're like 79 cents. So we'll try to get our flare of our roots. And hopefully, hopefully, this uh, peat pellet that it's, it's uh, rooted in will dissolve. Or blend into the soil. Tom, you got a mess down here. Just like that. Now I got this a little, a little, I got it wet. What I do is I put, put everything in a bucket, mix it up, and then I add water in it until I get it nice and moist because the peat moss is dry like you wouldn't believe. But it's good peat moss because I get the, uh, I think it's the Schultz which is real good. Just like that, get it in nice. Put more soil in there, just like that. And then I'll put it in a nice little shady spot until it recovers. Because that peat that they had it and that was just mainly for rooting, but you could see how how wet it was and it smelled a little funky, so I'm glad I got this one out. I'm gonna have to do the other one tomorrow. There, just like that. So don't be afraid. If you can't if you can't get a tree Try a fuchsia. Why not? They're not expensive. I got this at uh, Faisal's on 111th or 100 and between 109th and 111th in Cicero, South Cicero. And they sell nice upright fuchsias there. They're not that expensive. I think it was like five or six bucks for the plant. There. And then I got a gnome. Let's see, here's my wire cutters. So we can put in there, so he can sit watching it. So I'm gonna cut the, the stick, the wire, which is, there we go. I'll we'll put Mr. Gnome in there. There we go. Sitting there watching his this tree grow. How do you like that? That's pretty good. <laughs> and then because it's wet, we don't have to spray it. So we'll take Mr. Hoss and give him a good watering in. And I know, Freddie, you want to see Mr. Elephant. There's Mr. Elephant over here. And remember, what's today? Today is Sunday night. It's family night. Shut that phone off. Tell everybody, hey, from now on, I'm sitting with the kids and my wife are watching Lawrence Welk. Sitting down, it's family night, so don't bother us. There we go, Mr. Elephant. Yes, Pinkie Pie is over there. She's hiding. So, something nice for you to try. A nice little fuchsia. Easy to do. Your Saracenia, Judith Hindle. And I got the uh, marigolds. 
plus guess who paid us a visit today you'll never guess who paid mr. and mrs. elephant a visit and here he is uncle Joe Potsavokium uncle Joe Potsavokium there he is that's uncle Joe he's up there watching us do and watching mr. elephant work so we're all doing good I'm trying to clean this mess up here so I don't know if you see my uh, skull in the back I got that when we were first married that thing's aged like you wouldn't believe <laughs> I don't know how old that thing is but what are you gonna do and don't ask me how many years I'm married I don't know nothing I barely know my own age <laughs> so if you gotta count the marriage how long it is then you know then it's like well hey I don't know it's not it's like uh, it's like you're in prison I don't feel it that way if you got a good marriage why count the years you enjoy the years so remember today's Sunday night uh, don't forget get yourself a Saracenia get yourself a, uh, an upright fuchsia I thought I had the label but I don't but you get your fuchsia look at you got a nice little tree and look at the colors on there and plus you get flowers later but right now I'm not gonna let it get flowers and you do your marigolds and I got uh, my uh, I only had one angel wing seed come up so I tried a different outfit and I'm gonna try these later and plant them from a, from Renee's garden so I'm gonna give these a try and see how they grow so okay I gotta quit babbling it's Sunday night cup of tea because it's a nice cool night oh no you know what I drink for now for the arthritis they come out with the it's called Reese mushroom coffee I have that cup in the morning it's good for arthritis for stamina for fo being focused for digestion inflammation immunity stress relief fat burner and it's got Arabic coffee in there for for uh, energy but this is all they got like six mushrooms in there plus the coconut organic coconut and your Arabic coffee so give it a try I'm gonna drink a cup every morning and see if that helps with the arthritis so what are you gonna do and then I have tea in the evening so you take care everybody have a good night remember shut that phone off it's here with the family today have a good night and be safe and enjoy the wife the kids grandma and grandpa enjoy each other's company put on Lawrence walk sit back relax and enjoy music when music was music take care everybody and have a good night